Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another video. So today uh, I'm going to be doing a cheap supply challenge. I found these at Target and uh, I okay they had a Crayola brand as well but I picked up the Target brand for the sole fact that the Crayola brand only had five markers. It didn't have an orange and uh, this one has six and it was a little bit cheaper as well. It was like $4.50 or something like that and that was with tax um but <laughs> I really want to try these out I've seen them before they're washable paintbrush markers and uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and open this wow such open look at these opening skills Ugh. I'm not very good at opening stuff <laughs> okay, probably shouldn't do that. It's probably bad for my pen, but you know what? Who cares? So, aha! Struggle, struggle. Alright, so, let's take a look at the supply before we um, murder ourselves with trying to use these. So, they are... They look like a water brush, to be honest. Um, they've got the little color here. They've got a cap. And they are felt tipped. I actually figured they would be paint, like, bristle tipped. Uh, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it's a lot lighter at the tip. Like, it's not saturated very fully. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm gonna open all of them and see if they're all like that. This one is. I probably wouldn't be able to tell with the yellow. This one's sorta like that. This one is okay. It actually looks purple. And this one's really like that too. Okay, so instead of just like picking them apart, I'm actually going to swatch them. So let me grab some paper and I'll be right back. Alright, now that I have some paper. I am going to just use these. I really don't know what to expect, um, so let's just go with it. They're a lot more pigmented than I thought. You can get some decent line width, but you know. I feel like I'm going to break the nib. And it, it doesn't spring back very easily, there's like a bend in the nib already. Alright, well it was already more vibrant than I thought it would be, so that's always a good sign. Ooh, it's very spotty. They also smell weird. They smell like... Uh, I don't know if you ever used like really, really cheap like Crayola kids paint as a kid, or if you still use it. It smells like that. It's very painty smelling. Uh, green, because I'm not doing these apparently, and red, green, yellow, whatever order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, that order. Yeah, green does not come after orange. Then yellow, wow, yellow is really pretty. Actually, I really like the green the most so far. I'm going to be completely honest, these are surprising me at how pigmented they are. Now, of course they're water based so like they're not gonna be like an alcohol marker or anything but these are okay this does not match the barrel at all the other ones do this one doesn't this is a this is more of a blue violet this is like a red violet but anyway I digress so these colors are actually pretty decent um, and they work decently well so I have slightly higher hopes now for what these can do. I'm gonna go ahead and assume these are not light fast in any stretch of the imagination. Um, so yeah, but for like a random cheap brand that's not even Crayola brand, that was like 450 for all these, um, it's not that bad. So uh, I'm gonna of course get into like a little illustration and I probably will water these down as well, but the main like Actually, before I get to anything else, I want to see how these blend. Um, I should probably go light to dark so I don't ruin my nibs. So we'll do... 
orange to red and I didn't think they would blend super well. Might also be the paper I'm using. Well, I don't know. It's not... These actually do get darker with layers, though. Let's try some yellow. I'll ruin my nib for the sake of science. Alright, so they don't seem to blend very well, but it might be the paper I'm using, so because I'm not using like watercolor paper or anything that can handle like water-based markers. So when I do my illustration, it will be on heavier paper, so I can actually test that out and come back to you guys with actual results. Um, so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get into the illustration. And yeah, uh, before I go though, let me know like, have you tried these before? What do you think? Do you use these? Um, I'm really excited to use them. I was really excited when I bought them in the store the other day. And, uh, yeah, I just, I was really excited. And then now they actually are nice, which is a surprise. That just goes to show you that just because they're cheap doesn't mean they're bad. But also, it's probably not light fast, so it's not going to last you a long, long time. But hey, you're if you're young and you buy these, you're young. You don't need your art to last a million years. And if you're older and you're buying these like me... Who cares? It's just, like, de-stress. It's fun. Who cares if it's gonna last a hundred years? Unless you want it to, then you should probably do it in higher quality materials. But, yeah. So, I'm rambly today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but, I'm gonna shut up now and actually get to the illustration. And I'll talk to you more with the voiceover and stuff. So, hope to see you over there. I feel like I'm doing a review for you guys, but I'm really not, um, so I'm just showing you the materials I'm using. So I'm using the, um, the off-brand Crayola markers and a paintbrush, uh, because there are water paintbrush markers, so I figured I could dilute them for a skin tone, and I used orange, and it diluted really, really well. It made a decent skin tone, and she didn't really look like an Oompa Loompa when I was done. Um, I am so happy with these. I don't even know. This is probably the best cheap art supply I have ever used, and they're amazing. Oh, I love them. So, um, a lot of this picture was done, um, with, you know, part of the marker being laid down and then, uh, water being put on it. I can't talk today. Ugh. Water being put on it to make, like, a wash effect. I did use the markers just themselves, but I figured, you know, these, like, using it with that technique gave me a little bit more variety of the shades I could get and stuff. And they are water paintbrush markers, so I think they're all supposed to be used like that. Anyway, I did use every single color in this, um, and I just love these. I plan on using these a lot more, probably not for finished pieces I plan on selling, but especially just for random doodle days and... Uh, just de-stress stuff. They're really fun to use and definitely probably one of the most underrated things as far as cheap art supplies go. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a challenge with these. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use them, um, but they're well worth it. If you're younger and you're looking into brush pens, check these out um, because they're cheap and they can kind of get you into it because they do definitely have that brush pin feel um, or like a Copic kind of. It's like a cheap, al not really alternative because of the whole, it's not gonna last very long. Copics probably won't either, but these probably won't last as long as a Copic would. Um, but these are really great, especially if you're just starting out and you wanna test the waters. And I really honestly wish I knew about these beforehand because they're really nice and they're surprising. I did not have any of them fray on me, but I feel like with continued use, they probably would eventually fray just because of the kind of tips that they are. Um, but yeah, I really love this. And if you want to know everything that I use, including paper and stuff, it is down in the description below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. And yeah, if you liked it, don't forget to thumbs it up. Also, don't forget to become a part of our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on when I upload a new video. I generally upload on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday with the occasional tutorial if you guys request it. So, until next time, guys. Toodaloo! And then next, we have a Bioshock Infinite... Oh, it's a key! It's a blank... Oh, you could go and get this... Take Here, I'll just take this out. <laughs>